Hi there, friends. My name's Anna. I'm a summer student at the Judith and Norman Alex Art Gallery, and today we're going to be talking about easy encaustics. First, let's take a look at the materials included in your kit. The first item you'll see is your masonite board. It is primed in white for you, but you are more than welcome to paint it a different color if that's what your heart is telling you. A pencil and a permanent black marker will come in handy throughout your project. We have also provided you with a few funky looking wax dipped yarn strings in a variety of colors. There is also a wood pick in your kit. There are two different sides on either end, a pointy end and a wedged end. This will be used as a texture device in your project. And now, the star of the show, the wax. There are a multitude of colors. One of each of the primary colors, a piece of black and white wax, and a bonus fun color. We have found there are three helpful methods to warm up the wax in your kit in order to start molding and manipulating it. The first is using your hand. Rip off a small section of wax and start massaging it with your fingers. This method takes the longest and requires the most effort. Continue massaging and kneading the wax between your fingers until it has the consistency of chewed gum. The second is using a hairdryer. If you have a hairdryer, this is the most efficient method and the method that I mainly used in the project here today. Turn on your hairdryer to a low heat setting and hold a section of wax under it until it begins to warm up. This should take about 10 to 15 seconds. You can also place the wax on a covered surface instead of holding it in your hands. Once the wax is warm, you can knead it with your fingers easily. The third is using warm water. Pour some warm, not hot, water into a bowl and place the wax inside. Leave it for 10 to 15 seconds. This may be quicker depending on your water temperature. Then remove the wax from the water onto a paper towel and dab it dry. The wax will not stay moldable for long, so you may need to revisit any of the three warm-up methods throughout your project. The same way you would mix paint on a palette to create more colors, you can mix wax pieces together with your fingers to build your color palette. To mix colors, warm up two small sections of different colored wax and knead them together with your fingers. You can see while the different wax colors mix together, they create a marbled pattern. If this is intriguing to you, try exploring this texture in your creation. If you are someone who prefers a little more preparation, you can explore different compositions on a scrap piece of paper with a pencil. If you don't have access to a scrap piece of paper, you can explore compositions directly on the board surface. But of course, planning out a composition is optional. If you want to dive right into the materials, then go for it! For my design, I composed a group of volcanoes to show you what's possible with all the tools in your kit. But remember, there are no restrictions on your imagination, so follow your heart! Once you have decided on a composition, you can sketch it onto the surface with wax-dipped yarn, or you can sketch it onto the surface with permanent marker. To apply wax to the surface, use your fingers to smudge it onto the board. Just a reminder, if you are having trouble applying the wax, it may be because it needs to be slightly warmer. You may notice when applying wax, it can be more translucent, see-through, or opaque, bold, depending on the thickness or thinness of the wax layer.
You can also smudge the wax right over the surface edge to cover the sides of the board. Just make sure to keep the back of the board clear of wax so it doesn't stick to the table or whatever surface you're creating on. Once the wax has been applied, you may notice it becomes harder to work with. You can easily warm it up with a quick once-over from the hair dryer. When the wax becomes warm again, it will have a slight shine to it. Now you are ready to jump back in. I was noticing the ocean in my piece was looking a little flat, so I grabbed the wood pick to add some wave details. As you can see here, the wood pick can create textures, defined lines, and stark highlights when you scrape it over the wax. You can even uncover the original board color. If you have leftover wax dipped yarns, these can be added to make certain elements of your composition pop out. They will stick directly to the board and the wax. You can use the wax dipped yarns to depict movement to give your composition life, or as a frame to give your composition structure. Maybe the wax dipped yarns are shooting off the board surface. The possibilities are endless. Don't limit yourself to using only the materials in your kit. Take a walk around your house and look for different objects and oddities that can be used as texture devices in your project. Objects like bottle caps, keys, and cutlery can be pressed into the wax to reveal patterns. Embed things like beads, sand, or sequins to create new surface textures. What will your composition be? Maybe you want to capture a landscape in wax, a self-portrait in wax. If you are inspired by something more conceptual, you can try to capture a sound or a feeling in wax. There is inspiration all around you. Go outside, take a walk, maybe stroll down to Lockheel Street and check out the current exhibitions at the Judith and Norman Alex Art Gallery, or you can check them out online.